All right. Holy crap. There's a lot of things I want to go over. A lot of things I'm happy to see that X Legend has done. So the first impression video, obviously, it's, you know, first impressions. The things I've seen that I did not like and the things that I did like. As I'm playing a little bit more, I found some more things that I do like and actually fucking love. The main thing that I do love so much is that they fix questing. I talked about this in the Prime video, but that was like way further in. Now this can be a shorter video. First of all, being able to go directly to the targets and not having to manually do it. Like, it'll actually take me to where I need to go. And this will actually take me to a position of things that actually have the loot. And not even that, the best fucking thing is that this will take me to the dungeon I need to go to. Like, this will auto-walk me to the actual dungeon. And not only that, watch what it does when you actually do do this. Like, this is my absolutely my favorite fucking thing. Because in Auto Grand Fantasia, this doesn't exist. It will just... It will literally just throw at the map and just be like, hey, this is here. Walk there. Figure out how to get there. That's that's literally what it will do. It will not tell you like anything else. It will literally just be like, all right, dude, there you go. Look at the map. Go there. Look, look what it does. It automatically claims where it needs to be. Now watch me push it again because it it just used its uh interaction with the first time going to that crystal. It just auto-selected everything for me. And it just took me here. So it just took me to Sprite Forest for some reason. Which is funny. <laughs> that's actually funny. Oh yeah, that's another thing that they are telling us. When you're doing a launcher, don't go to on 11. Because that one has way too many graphic issues. Stick with the uh, D9. But watch this. I can go back. It's going to take me there. There we go. It just takes me to that dungeon. That That's my favorite thing so far. Obviously, it's not going to take me into this because, you know, it's a dungeon. I just wanted it to at least travel me somewhere. So that one doesn't work. Just because you know it's an actual dungeon and you know where that dungeon is. Uh, I finished farming um, the cave. Um, what was it? Condemned Mines. Because Condemned Mines uh, only can give me so much XP. I played around with the spy class a little bit more and I actually enjoy it a lot. I do plan on making a second character of the other variant of it, which is uh, Imperial Court. Let's see how that one plays. This is kind of my setup right now. I have a shield and my level 30 gear. I'm currently getting into my level 40 gear. I just haven't been rushing towards it. Even though I could, I I have a whole bunch of this stuff to where I could, like, just continue to uh, make more. We're almost to level 40. Alice is leveling up. I don't know if Shadows is planning on playing just yet. I was like... Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, the auto sprite system doesn't uh, exist. So now I have to actually manually click my uh, mounts. But but the, with the whole traveling thing, you know, clicking needs and travel thing, it makes mounts more useful. That's the thing I do love. It makes mounts way more useful. I still need to get enough for these. Um, which one are? 
I need stars. Fuck. What about these? I think I have enough for that one. I never really use shields like way too often. So it's actually a pretty interesting experience for me. Hold on, there was something else I actually enjoyed too. I did join a temporary guild. I mean, they just sent me an invite randomly as I was inside of a dungeon. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. I do like that this class has a lot of dive in and do damage attacks. There's a lot of AoEs, that's for sure. And a very long stun also. And the cooldown is actually like pretty low. It's 15 seconds. For a stun that goes that long. There's a lot of uh, good debuffs. Because first of all, being able to lower all attack by 15% and defense by 60% is great for actual bossing. But obviously this attack is more for P PvP. But that target gets, you know, 25% evasion and also 25% movement speed. So that's something you got to kind of keep in mind. Yeah, we also have a a little vortex too. Doesn't stay up very long. Also, we have this whole immune to stun days and exhaustion ability that you also have to steal time. Uh, I don't believe. I don't believe they changed it to where you can just use this in the middle of it just to get out of it. You have to actually use this before the ability goes off. So you got to pay. Well, you can't really pay attention because. Um, bosses have a random chance of using certain skills. It's to low a certain threshold. Monsters also have a. Have like a certain threshold too. The reason is so annoying because. The ability only lasts for. 4.5 seconds, which is only enough to avoid like one stun. And if you time it wrong, you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> if you notice too, I've started to run out of mana off of this stuff. These skills are way more costly. I said the best thing about this is that we're getting a lot more mana absorbing abilities. Like that we can only take like 120 20 mana. Uh, mana draining kind of sucks for bosses because for bosses most of the time um, how do I say this oh, let's do this first because for bosses most of the time some of them have like really large region and weakness weakness doesn't no weaken itself doesn't stack but you can keep it up for quite a while if you have like a whole team of ninjas 
Uh, Druid also has Grilliform that also has a Mana Drain. Um, there should be a Staff as well. Oh, no, that Staff is late game. I say there should be a Staff that has it too. But I'm curious of how much they're going to change towards like dungeons. That's probably what they're working on is changing how dungeons work and uh, changing some rewards for some uh, changing rewards for some of the quests that we currently have. Uh, for those of you guys who have been wondering, what do you do now that you reach level 40? There's a lot of things you can do. First, get all of your talents. And the highest you can get your talents is to three at the moment. And those are through farming either dungeons or through other mobs around the world. Those are the main things you can do. Or you can do the probably the most popular thing people are currently doing, or at least veterans are doing, farming your reputation out. I would say... For all reputations, you would probably want to stop at at least 30k. And that's going to be a while. Especially if you are playing ninja. If you are playing ninja, you are probably going to be the main class out of the whole game who needs the farm reputation. That's, that's just a given. That's not even a joke either. You guys are probably going to be the worst ones stuck inside of the fame grinding opposed to other classes who probably only have like a few skills locked behind reputation i know druid has like a certain talent locked behind uh fame but it's one of its late game ones which we won't have to worry about for a while I'm wondering if they're going to change certain skills, too. For, like, uh... The classes coming. Well, not the classes. For the next few levels. That start coming out. Like, low... It'll probably be level 50 that's probably going to come out next. That'd be the only thing I can actually, like, think of. Either that, or they're going to do it, like, every five levels. But my guess will probably be, like, every ten levels. It'll probably be, like, a once a month level impact increase, probably. But reputation and sprites are the main thing you need to worry about. Get your sprites to level 50. And it's just so you can get that level 50 gear as soon as it's released. If it's possible to actually go up to level 50. I don't actually think it is yet. But we'll be getting you to farm. Because goat is going to be massively needed. Uh, my main thing would probably be I have I have ways of making gold, especially with the current economy going on and with the amount of new players there are and the amount of people who will not want to do half of the crafting, even though you're still going to have to do crafting in order to bring up your sprite or you can just release your sprite and get new ones that also works too a lot of people do that oh my bad i've i've been over here ranting and killing the wrong things funny enough selling materials is one way you're gonna be able to earn money for those people who you know having gotten up to that certain level to be able to do it. I'll tell you guys one way. The other ways are mine. Uh, I'm not spoiling that. I'm still feeling like I want to change the bow. 
but then if I change the bow, I am not allowed to use this or this, which sucks. Or this. So I kind of have to use shuriken. But it's interesting that you can use bow, though. If you ever, like, actually felt like it. Get to see more characters we'll get with some uh, decent AOE. Okay, really? You're gonna give me the green, but you won't give me the actual, the actual common stuff. Yeah, that crap, which I really don't care about. I say if Alice and Shadow are playing, then I would probably need two more people to like run dungeons and stuff with. I just got to confirm with Shadow if he's actually planning on like grinding since he's in his whole Final Fantasy Online stick now. <laughs> XP for questing actually hasn't been bad at all. It's actually been pretty fair. Are you a little shit? You would fail. Yeah, damn, that was a that was a lot for that one. Okay, then you run into some of these quests, which are going to be a lot more difficult because you don't have, like, details for this quest. Uh, I guess I'll explain this quest. Um, this over here is where Co Red Coconut is. Red Coconut City. Th this one, this is explained very, very well from what I remember. And the way you get to that place is that ticket that you have. I think I put it inside of uh, my bank, right? Oh, no, there's a quest over here. Should be a quest up here. Unless I did claim it. It should say Red Coconut. If I uh, didn't. This is where some of your quests that you actually do need to do. Or the unacclaimed ones that pop up right here show up. Let me go. Yeah. And double check. Okay, so Mailbox still doesn't have any, uh, what was it? Any new pages to indicate that we can hoard stuff over here, too. I also been hoping, I also hope that they would have added, like, a share bank as well. So we could share items between characters, but they still refuse to do that, unfortunately. That would have been, like, the dopest thing out of that. Because that's something we've all have asked them to do and that is uh add share bank between characters especially for items that are can't be traded but you need it on a different character to make our lives easier because some of them can't go into archive okay so apparently i don't have it Let's go to that guy and uh, talk. Oh, actually, did it show up during the? Um... Is that what I wanted to see? 
Does it show up during travel? Because some places actually show up. Okay, goddammit. That pathing still hasn't been fixed. But as you level, you do open up the next place. Yeah, okay, yeah. It already opened. It's actually nice that they changed everything to one copper for traveling. Because it started to get expensive as shit up here, dude. Like, it started to cost, like, one gold. And the other maps, like, um... Time travel. No, it was... It was, like... What was it called? It's been a while since I actually, like, called it by a name. Alternative? I think Alternative Dimension. Started to cost, like... 16 gold and shit like that. I was just saying, like, dude, my fucking gold. My pockets. So, yeah. You go here. There's this merchant right here. Talk to them. I know quite a lot of people are going to be confused on this. Not too many, though, for veterans, at least. This is also another place that you can farm to get up to level 40 as well. This one's actually a decent XP one. Or you can go to Plague, too. Or Bones as well. That works. So, the, oh yeah, there it is. So you buy this, then you buy this. And now you just go back there. Make sure to read your quests. If you get a quest like that that doesn't give you a travel point, make sure to read it. Um, I still don't know if they have a soft cap or a hard cap for XP. I would think it would be a hard cap to where if you do other quests, you don't get that XP saved up for for um, uh, for the update or the level cap increase. I don't think about it. Did I check um freeze? Say. Okay, I wanted to check and see if there was a reincarnation ability just lingering there to let us know if reincarnations are actually coming back. No, it's not there. There are no reincarnation abilities, so they probably might change it. Or they'll keep it. Whichever one. Hold on. I wonder if there's info for some of this. Because, um... Some uh, spies' abilities actually give you, like, little details of which ones are going to be upgradable in the future by Jim. Okay, so no, it doesn't do the same thing for Druid, apparently. But yeah, some of them are like, uh, this one says it transforms with the sublime stones. Wait, oh, it doesn't increase the time. It only increases uh, the evasion. Damn. I was really hoping that increased the evasion. Well, the actual duration of it. Level 40, we get this to negate damage, which negate a little bit of damage. When the block reaches zero, the guard dismisses. Now, that's the interesting one to me. This one seemed interesting too, but we'll we'll see whenever I get motivated to do all that. 
Oh shit, is that another quest vector? But yeah, we only just need a... Okay, nah, we, we're not doing repeats at the moment. But yeah, we only need two levels. I could be using my uh, TP stone soon. Okay, yeah, this is another quest I actually have to read. So this is in the cemetery down here, those enemies. Uh, only certain enemies actually drop those. Oh yeah, they changed the transport stones to only use one. Instead of two now. Oh, did you... You bastard! You misfortuned me as soon as I got here? You douche. I say, that's another thing you can do is sell reputation. Early... This early... Reputation selling is... Is something you would love to do because that's going to give you a lot a lot of gold from players especially those who don't want to farm because if you're too lazy man it's this game's going to bite you in the ass that's for sure I say, especially if you don't, you know, take the time. Whoops, wrong button. Especially if you don't take the time to upgrade. Like, just put your progress on hold. It is definitely going to come back and bite you. So if you can't beat something and you feel like you're lacking in damage or survivability, take, just take a step back from, from progressing. And progress all your talents and your gear. That's the main thing you should be focusing on. Hopefully they start doing events that uh, give upgrade material. Like, I wouldn't mind an event for, like, killing certain mobs, you know? And collecting, like, a drop. Or, yeah, just killing mobs and collecting, like, exchangeable points for certain material. Get people in the in the farming spirit. I know that you, that you guys can do that now, <laughs> X-Legend. So, that, that's something I would love to see. Gives people motivation to be on and actually grinding because getting... Upgrade material like fortitudes and stuff like that is is something players would fucking downright farm. So an event PC, an event NPC would be great for exchanging, or just have it up here, you know, for events. Have like a little event tab. I was like, I will say this, the game is is probably going to have less players, mostly because they just released in the middle of <laughs> Summer Break ending, which was actually, you know, kind of kind of funny at the same time. Of Kind of sucks for them. I'm going to just use that just to get out of my inventory. You know, I don't really benefit from my intelligence. So, yeah, that's something they're going to have to deal with. But over time, you also got to think about it. Oh, shit. Nice. I'll take that. Over time, you also got to think about it. It's like... Even with the lack of players, I'd say they, most of them are already level 42. So they're going to have to wait for new content as well. Especially if you're, like, rushing to get there. But it seems like a lot easier to get to level 40 
And it seems like they're adjusting it to where it seems similar to a War Kingdom or Aura Kingdom. Aura Kingdom, right? To where Aura Kingdom actually gives you enough levels to end that area at that level. So by the time I would end up doing all the quests here, I would be level 41. It seems that way, at least. Yeah, I'm doing the love quests that are exactly my same level and getting that much XP. Like, that's freaking fantastic to the point where I don't want to do any more any more missions if they stop me directly at a... Uh, Stop me directly at level 40 because if I start doing more quests, that starts hoeing me inside of the XP I could have. So if X Legend has it soft locked, that is something I would love them to do and just slowly build up our XP. Then when the next level cap goes up, comes out, boom, all the XP goes into that, and I'm already like a certain level. That helps out players a lot. Don't know if they're going to do that, though. It would be great. No, my hoarding. I mean, it's nice to have hammers, too. The greater hammers. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. This is from, the, um, I think, the milestone rewards. I would say these for your level 40 gear, honestly. And I'll probably recommend weapons for any DPS upgrading your weapon and for tanks upgrading your armor, obviously. Pallies, please stay up to date with your armor <laughs> just so your clerics and uh, sages will have an easier time healing you. And don't have to worry about too much of you suffering. I still have to upgrade my weapon soon. But I have yet to find a drop for um Shinobi's weapons. If I can figure out does anybody know where ninjas level probably like level 30 or 20? Probably level 30. Level 30 sprite ninja tools drop. I would love to farm that. That is something I would definitely like to farm. Hold up, maybe I can maybe I can find it here. Nah, this is just Horn of Aid, which I think I've already got one of those. Nah, this is, that's a different one I got. But yeah, if I can, if I can, uh, yeah, that, that'd be great. Oh, wait, no. That is probably... I'm probably going to find it through um, an altar. That's probably where I'm going to have to find it. I'm probably going to have to search every altar and farm that reputation. Because I've already, already seen an altar with... I think it's the sand altar. More than likely the sand altar. Am I? Yeah, I'm killing flies only. 
Okay. Should probably save those potions. Selling a repeat quest can also give you a lot of gold too. Because um, repeat quests also give reputation. I think up to a certain amount, and I think it stops, if I remember correctly. Never did really too much repeat quests. Come here. I just want to compare how much XP I would get for turning this in versus uh, the level 39. Okay, just just a tiny bit, nothing, nothing huge. Obviously, because I kind of out level it. Maybe, maybe that's why. I need to go down there anyway for my uh for two quests that are high level. Uh to also see what the bot well enemies drop. That one drops it. But this one this is gonna be weird because it drops it inside of a normal bag. It doesn't drop it inside of a blue. Any quest that any quest that doesn't have like a quest symbol on it. And it comes from a mob, it will only drop inside of this bag and not this bag. So make sure to pick up those bags. Yeah, so that enemy does not drop any of those bones. I think it's only those, the liches. The Liches and Warlocks. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Might as well just have you out. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta sooner or later buy some more um, soda pops and stuff for sprites. All right, there's one. That didn't count. Ah. That audio concerns me sometimes. I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute, is that close, close to me? Or is that, you know, like, 
farther away. Oh yeah, they did. I did see that they they posted something about being a mod. I'm just sitting here like, what are the benefits of that? You didn't tell anybody the benefits of what they get for um for actually being a mod. It was just like, hey, we're just looking for mods. It's just like, what are the benefits of it? I say that's something we kind of really want to know. But I hope they actually do try and keep this alive. I really do. Because I've been very curious at how they envisioned um, reincarnations to actually go, considering they only stopped at one. I was curious about, like, what other abilities did you guys, like, plan out? Ugh. Somebody else there is farming this stuff, man. Is that a fucking mage now that I think about it? Yeah, someone is actually playing mage. That that surprises me. Oh, they're fighting the boss. Whoops. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna need help with a lot of these area bosses. Especially if they aren't geared enough for it. To solo. Damn it. Uh, if you don't drop this damn stuff that I need. Can you just try to teleport down there? Not how that works. I wish you could last hit in an account towards your quest, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Whoops. Damn it, keep that finger in the other one. I have to trade those. I don't like reaching around my keyboard. <laughs> I say that. That's one thing I will never do is reach around my keyboard too much. Damn, this class is just as man as hungry as um Druid. Nah, Druid is more mana hungry. Especially wolf form. Okay, I need one more. Then I'll get my last bladers. Wait a minute. I don't remember seeing that. Is that the NPC? Oh, there's so many you fuckers here, man. Ah, please, damn. Give me my last one. I always hate these these type of quests, the one without the quest, because. Quest items themselves have a good chance of dropping, but these are all RNG on when they drop. Is it a pain in the ass? Yes. Yes, it is. Ah. The actual torture of trying to get an item. This this isn't going to be fun. <laughs> but the reason I uh, let's go back to the other conversation. The, the reason I'm hoping that they do start to take an interest in buffing a little bit of abilities. Well, not a buffing. Uh, do something interesting for like level 50 skills. I wonder if they plan on changing them or keeping them default.
because I'm the only reason I'm curious about this because there's a chance of you know they be like okay we want this ability to do this yeah that or they're gonna keep it all basic I don't mind if they keep it all basic but I'm also just curious of what they're what they're up to hello oh uh, misfortune you bastard Blaze, I just need this last quest done. Damn, don't do this. Please. Damn it. <laughs> Please. Give me my last item. This isn't very cash money of you. God damn it. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate it here. I I forgot how much this quest just gets on my nerves. It hasn't changed one fucking bit. It's still annoying to this day. Oh my god. So that means he's on that quest too. Now I'm competing even more than I was. Nuisance. Nuisance of a quest. Please. I'm, I'm not even going to skip this. I'm not even going to cut any of this out. You guys are suffering with this. You're going you're gonna to suffer with me because I have to suffer. This is bullshit, man. Every time. Thank you. Jesus. Well, shit. Okay, now it's not giving me much XP anymore. I think it was because I'm near that. Near the level of it now. It's where it's going to start giving me less. No, that one gave me a whole bar. I just really need to figure out where I can find a... Uh... A Shinobu. Excuse me, a Shinobi tool sprite. Okay. And we've finished the quest line for that. Okay, yeah. It still gives us a little bit of a big chunk. So you'll be doing multiple areas at best. Um, I will do more of this down the road. I didn't want to make this like a very long video, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about like a few of the things I actually loved. First off, I'm happy that they that they fix auto pathing to where it can travel between different scenes. I love that. They're probably doing it for the rest of the quest too. That's probably what they're up to. That'd be my guess. That is so freaking fantastic and I love it. That's that's my favorite thing so far is the the pathing's been fixed to where new players won't be as confused on certain quests but will probably still be genuinely confused on others probably. <laughs> but yeah, that that's that's actually Pretty neat. I've actually been enjoying this class quite a bit. Some visibilities are actually pretty fun. I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, level 50 has involved. 
either that I was about to say, either they're gonna do it every, like every 50 levels or every every class evolution. So if I remember correctly, the next class evolution would be like 63 ish, I think. Somewhere around 60. Somewhere around 60, I believe. I say, sadly, I can't, you know, go in there and look at it and just be like, oh, okay. It's like, it's all, it's all going to go up there. But, you know, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys uh, in a few days when I do the next private server and show you guys an update of that. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to be sitting here chilling and farming rep for my druid. I'm Yeah, I'm definitely going to be leveling up a druid and that's probably going to be my main again i'm just enjoying trying out a new class especially ninja ninja's actually been pretty cool what well, i said hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next one until then peace out